Hello and welcome to my shitty guide on making a minimalistic UI. The main purpose of this is to see as much as possible on your screen and have everything you need focused around the center, like important cooldowns, active spells, the health of yourself and your enemy, etc. Other than that, it just looks a lot cleaner than the Blizzard's default shitfest. I've split this video into two parts, the first being a guide on how to make a 5 minute minimalistic UI with just Bartender, and the second half will be a 5 hour UI, I say 5 hours because it can take 5 hours, and uh, that looks pretty much like the one shown on the screen right now. I have made a few changes since recording these clips, as some of the things were blocking other things, like my deadly boss mods blocked all my spell cooldowns in one fight, so that was fun. So I realized some things needed slight adjustments, but for the main part, what you see on the screen right now is what I still use. So for the easier setup, I've created a new character, Yui Tutututiro or whatever, to show you how I would set this up if I was still using this. This only requires one add-on, which is Bartender and an optional one to show the DPS meters, which is here. I'm using details in this situation, but you can use recount. Uh, that's pretty much all I know, details and recount. If there's more, choose whatever you want. I like details, it looks one of the cleanest. So first we need to bring up the options. So we can either type slash bartender in the chat, or we can click this button here, which is somehow merged with another one. So this one here. So I can just right click to bring up the options. And there's all the options and all the bars, bags, extra bars. The micro menu is this, I think. Uh, Blizzard art, you can get rid of that weird thing. But I generally just start with one of these presets because it does most of the shitty work for us. So Blizzard interface is this, I'm pretty sure, but I usually use three bars stacked. So we hit apply. And we don't see anything now because I don't have any other spells, but here are the three bars. I'll, if we unlock the bars, we can see everything going on. Status tracking is your rep, your experience. And here are just some other bars. So once you have this, I usually make these bars all the same size. So here we have scale one, padding six. So I'll bring this padding down to 2. Whack these three on top of each other. And extra action, I don't need this to be so freaking big. If you have a pet, keep it. If not, do whatever you want with it. This is a paladin, so he obviously doesn't. Status tracking, this one, I would put it... I actually had it up here before. And there's this option here called Fade Out. If you click on that, it'll disappear if you put it to 0%. So this only shows when you mouse over it. You can put it anywhere you want, like say, I put the XP bar there for whatever reason. And if I wanted to check what level Yui Tutututetiro was, I would just mouse down here, see how close I am to the next one. And you're left with all this space that you can work with. The only thing left to do is to set up your keybind, so we would type slash KB or optionally we'd go in here and just click the key bindings and then we mouse over whatever block we want to set a keybind to and click the button. So say I wanted this buttery sword spell, I have no idea, I don't play paladin, to be bound to zero, I would mouse over it, click zero and now you see down at the bottom there it says one zero so it's bound to one and zero if i press escape i clear all the bindings and just set it to zero now you see the little zero above this butter sword thing which means i press zero to cast this spell and that's about it for this there's really not much else for the super 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 easy minimalist guide i would usually do this however Bring my player frames down and my target frame down just because I don't want to be looking to the top left to see how much health I have or how much my target has. So if I'm fighting something, I just run up to him, bonk him in the head, I can see everything right in this little section of my screen. And in that situation you wouldn't have to keep that, that little thing that popped up at the bottom. You see this little whatever this is called, I don't know, because it's already right here. 
So I go to interface, names, personal resource display, and turn that off. So now when I go and attack this other trog, this random thing at the bottom doesn't pop up because it's right here. And that's about it. So now we're going to talk about the five hours setup, which uses LVI mainly. So the add-ons we'll need this time are LVI, shadow and light for some extra settings like changing the quest log text, Skullflower for the main preset that I'll be using, I'll talk more on this later, add-on skins to make Skullflower work, details to track DPS and healing like previously, and weak auras to track spell cooldowns and uptime as well as many other things. If you've never used weak auras before it can be a bit daunting but I can't really play the game without it anymore. I spend the first couple of hours moving things around and looking around in the settings, mostly googling where everything was, and got to this point where I really liked what I'd done with my own health bar. Then I decided to look online and see what other people were doing because I honestly needed a break, and I came across LVI Skullflower, which was pretty much what I wanted from my UI, uh, about 99% of it, so I installed the add-on and used their preset which saved me so much time. I made a few adjustments like giving the chat box a backdrop again, made the minimap bigger and some other things. So after fiddling with the settings a bit and uh, getting the old gender swap, I ended up with this, which I'm pretty happy with. There's my target, there's me. The only thing missing now is there's this big empty space here where my spell should be. Because I've actually got them all hidden down here. So if I ever need to move anything around, I can. I can check the hotkeys, the cooldowns, whatever. But it's not really ideal mid-fight to scroll down here and say, okay, this is off cooldown, okay, this is ready. So that's when the weak auras comes in. So once I spent a while familiarizing myself with weak auras once again, I came up with this little concoction, which shows my energy, shows all my spells that are off cooldown, and these ones which are not active, which should be in combat. And they will also show my uptime, so if I was to engage this, this dog thing here, when I use them, they'll turn green. On cooldown, they'll turn red and have a big number counting down. So like this. So they're green, it even changed my energy bar to purple, which is completely optional. And once they're off cooldown, this has another charge. So as you can see down here, one more charge. So I kept it blue. If there's no more charges, it would go red, similar to this. And for spells like this, say you want, what was this called? Say you want slice and dice on. Green means it's on. This shows me how long it's up for. So having all of this information right in the middle of my screen, just eliminates my eyes going from here fighting an enemy to down here seeing what's up or for example up here i found the most frustrating thing tracking slice and dice or rupture i think this is called i would have to put it on the enemy look up here look back down he's blown me up with something i look up again see if it's off look down i'm dead so it's, it's not ideal but to set the weak auras up you type slash wa slash weak aura and you'll come up with pretty much nothing. You want to create a new aura and the easiest thing to do, what I did with each individual spell, I clicked new aura from template icon and whatever size you want, mine are all 40 by 40 and you would go to your abilities, choose whatever you want it could even be your Venthyr spells, your Kyrian spells, your Covenant spells, sorry. So there's all of this crap. And the energy bar is here as well, but for the bar I would have used a progress bar. But I would say if you've never used weak auras before, just copy someone else's so you can import them really easily. Uh, a website that has a lot of them is wago.io, I think that's how you say it. So you just click import, dump in the text that it's on the website and it should pop up. So I'll put this in the description. If you want to copy this, you can just import it in and then easily you have this set up. Once you have one spell set up, you can copy and paste it. Say I want it to show 
sprint on one of these buttons up here. You can rename it to whatever you want. That part doesn't matter. Then you change the trigger. So the trigger is what actually shows the weak aura. So for this one, it's the buff itself. So we want the player to be buffed by sprint. That's when this will show up. Let me just move this out of the way. And the cooldown progress is the second trigger. So when this spell is on cooldown, then it shows up in another color. If you use the template, they'll set all this crap up for you. So you pretty much just have to change the spell names. And if you look at the conditions, I'm pretty sure I changed these a little bit, but this should come up from the template. So if I look at sprint, there is no cost at all. So I don't really need this condition. This just says if I don't have the mana or I don't have the energy combo points or whatever, then change it to blue. But it's not really necessary in this point. So the main thing I have set up is that the spells go green when they're active. So while I'm sprinting, this little button will turn green. And it shows the number of how long it's up for. And when it's on cooldown, it'll go red. And once again, showing the cooldown. So if I just left that there, all I had to do here was change the name of sprint on these two triggers. So now there's the sprint button there. I press sprint. It goes green for as long as it's active. So you can see up here, three seconds, three seconds. And once it goes off, it'll go red and show the remaining cooldown. So once you copy one template or choose someone else's one, import it, it's so easy to just create your own buttons. That's why I don't really like to have every single thing set up from the get-go. I just add things as I need them. Like for example, this covenant, covenant spell didn't exist in the previous patch. Now down here, I have these spells that I don't really need to keep track of all the time, like Sprint, Blind, Tricks of the Trade. So they don't show up unless they're on cooldown. Like I Sprint, now it comes up, one minute left. I use Distract, it bumps Sprint over to the left and it comes up as well. If I was to rupture this guy over here, you'll see that this turns green. It shows me how long I have left. Flagellation, another one. This is the Venthyr spell. If I put that on, there's 17 seconds left for me to take it off and get the haste buff. So I get the haste buff, it turns green. And that's that.